Welcome to Elevate Your Consciousness. I am your host, Birma, a spiritual teacher. Sometimes when I'm meditating, I get medical health advice. And also, I am able to merge with some individuals. There are people that have asked me to go into their consciousness to find out some information that they really wanted to know about. In this case, I was able to merge with my boss and merge with a girl from work who had insecurity issues. In this meditation, I learned all about dreams, UTI, my relationship with my boss. Well, let me start. Basically, dreams are this. Dreams are what your mind, your, your subconscious mind sees. As you're walking through life, you're not going to pay attention to everything, but your subconscious mind does. And it picks up things that you might not pick up. So let's say, for example, today you were walking down the street and you saw the traffic. Then, two hours later, you had a conversation with your parents. Your brain is trying to gather all that information and put it together to try to make sense. So your subconscious is going to see things about that traffic that you might not have noticed, but it noticed. And it will notice things about the conversation that you had with your parents, like different things that were going on in the house that you might not have paid attention, but your brain was picking up on those things. So at the end of the day, what it does is it creates this huge movie in your brain to try to make sense of those images that it saw and all those images it puts it together. So the dreams are your brain trying to make sense of the world, trying to organize the things that it see and it makes it into a movie. It jumbles it up all together into one movie. And besides that, there's there's another aspect of your dreams. Your dreams, you will get things from the future. You might get information from the future or you might get a spiritual message that comes into your dream. And those are gonna be special. It's gonna jump out, the dream is gonna feel different and you're going to know that you really need to pay attention to that, it's different. Then, the other thing that I learned was a remedy for urinary tract infection. For urinary tract infection, you have to make sure that you wash yourself really well before sex and after sex. In addition to that, to cure it, you have to send love to the actual bacteria, to the E. coli, and make them understand that they are actually in the wrong hole. <laughs> they don't belong there. But when you say love, you have to have faith. God says, if you don't have faith, it will not work. The reason why you send love is because every cell in your body has consciousness. And every cell in your body is listening, paying attention to your thoughts, to what you're saying. The remedy that I got was you have to drink one eighth of baking soda into one full glass of water with lime. Then you drink lemon water for seven days, at least three glasses a day per day, and high doses of vitamin C. High amount of vitamin C means emergency with the lime water. Every time that you do the lime water, you will add an emergency powder and that will cure the urinary tract infection. The other thing that I learned is the relationship that I have with my current boss. We are so best friends. We knew each other from the other side and we decided that we were gonna meet for a short period of time. And in that short period of time, he was, I was gonna learn from him, from his intellect, and he from me, spirituality. And uh, we are really good friends. And this information that I am giving him, he sees it as kind of weird. You know, he really doesn't understand it all the way. He sees it as weird. But his higher self told me about a memory that he had as a child where his mom and his sister left him alone in the house. He felt very upset about that. He was really, really upset and angry crying 
his higher self told me to tell him about uh, about that so he would remember and uh you know we enjoy each other company there's nothing nothing sexual about it our relationship is totally platonic we are best friends who are meeting each other on the physical and we enjoy each other company and the day that i leave he's going to be very upset he's going to be really really upset for a few days when i leave because he's going to realize that he's losing his best friend because it's not the same to have a relationship online or through the phone you want your best friends to be near you and that's what it is we're best buddies and he's going to be very upset when i leave there's this girl at work that she wanted me to go into her consciousness and i found out um she is very insecure she said it through her consciousness that she is very unsure of herself very insecure and that's the reason why she decided to um feel her lips where her lips look very puffy like a you know looks like um like a duck face now and she wears fake butt at work and uh i saw how insecure she was but i saw also saw how beautiful she is normally she is a really beautiful creature that doesn't need the fake butt and doesn't need the fake lip augmentation when she takes that off she's going to find the men and the men she's going to find she's going to end up being pregnant right away and she's going to have kids with them right now she's going through a relationship with her ex where he cheated and he will not change she needs to move away from him she needs to get away change the lock most likely put distance between him and her and just move away from each other because he cheated on her and he will continue to cheat on her and lie he's a liar so she needs to get away from him so but the main thing that she needs to understand is that god made her perfect the way she is she doesn't need the fake lips the fake butt to feel sure about herself she needs to accept herself the way that she is that she is a perfect creature that got made and once she removes of all of that she will find the man of her dreams and that's it so the information that you got about the girl and the guy cheating at the end she came back to me 3 months later and told me about that i was right uh that he was a cheater and he was a liar and that she broke up with him i will see you on the next video don't forget to like subscribe See you next time. Bye-bye.